Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be uh, putting together the fun folio. And for that, what you'll need is some 110 pound cardstock, 65 pound cardstock, a corner rounder, which is optional, a pencil, and some glue. I use Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, which is one of my favorites right now a ruler, a scoreboard, and a uh, paper trimmer. So let's get started on scoring. Take an eight and a half by 11 inch, 110 pound card stock. And we will put an, a letter L on the left side. So we score that at two and a half inches, at three inches, at nine inches and at nine and a half. You can see I've pre-scored this. So this is the left side. Now for the right side, and we put a letter R, just so we don't mix these up on the right side. And put that in from the edge so your pattern paper will cover that. We will score that at two and a half, two and three quarters, eight and three quarters, and nine and three eighths. So that gives us about five eighths uh, spine on this side and a half inch on this side. We need that because it'll get full. All right, those two sheets are done and ready to uh, fold and crease in a minute. Take another piece of cards, uh, 110 pound card stock on the 11 inch side and cut it five and a half inches. So we'll have two pieces of that that match. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our waterfall uh, pages cut. And we'll get our paper trimmer for that. And we will take two sheets. I like to do two sheets at a time, cut at on the short side, we'll cut at seven inches. And we will turn that and cut at four and a half. And we need four of those. So that's two and another four and a half. That's four. Alrighty, and save your scraps for later, or if you want to use it for something else. And one more sheet, cut again at, no, no, put it on the, we're, we're not cutting it at seven. We're gonna cut this at four and a half and leave the other side eight and a half. So four and a half by eight and a half piece. Alrighty. And the next thing we want to cut while we have our cutting um, tool out is the cards for inside the folio. And those are five by seven. So we'll cut that at seven. And we'll get two this, this way at five inches on the long side. One. And two at five inches. So five by seven. These two cards are five by seven. So put those off to the side. We won't need those for a while. And let's take our um, scoreboard and bring that back. And we're gonna take our, our waterfall pieces and we're gonna score only one end of the four and a half by seven pieces. And we'll score the long side at six and a half, which gives us a half inch tab. You could score at this end of your scoreboard, but I prefer, it's easier for me to get my hands in there. So all four of those at six and a half. Remember, this is 65 pound cardstock. 
You could, I suppose, use your 110 pound or 80 pound, but I prefer it this way so we can cover it, it won't be too thick. All right, now we're gonna fold and crease everything. All right, now that everything is folded and creased, we're going to glue the right side to the left side. And you can see the left is upside down, which if you fold towards the bubble, it will be upside down. And we're gonna push, all right, for, before we glue, let's open the left side up, center piece, and then fold this quarter inch gusset up all the way so that you can see that gusset and we're going to glue that down right up to the first score line we come to at the right so we'll glue this whole flap with glue not the score line and then we'll lay this we'll lay this in right next to that score line keeping that gusset out, fold it up, line it up at the top and the bottom, and press it in. Turn it over, and press that down as well. And there you have your, your folio is put together. Next thing we're gonna do is add pages to this and a pocket. So this will be a pocket. This will be the page. So how we do that is we glue the top, the side, and the bottom. And we're going right to that score, first score line you come to on your left side this time. Let's lay that in. Press the bottom in, and then we'll turn it and do and pinch the corners in so that we make a little bit of a gap here so that we can fit. And then press your sides in. All right, a little bit of a gap there so we can get you know our cards and whatnot in there. And then we will glue the, this is our left side, gets the same treatment for this page. So the top along the side of that score line, closest to the left, and then we will lay that in, even it up, press the bottom in, and then I will turn this all the way open and then pinch the corners to create a gap here. I always have trouble with this one. And then press the sides in. And there we have created a slight gap here. Probably a little bit too much on this one. Okay, that's your polio. The next thing we need to do is put together our waterfall. To our, oops, we don't want the cards. Take that to our um, scoring board. And lay in your larger piece, your four and a half by eight and a half piece. 
and that's your base. And these will all get glued to the base, one at a time. Put glue on the tab. Then lay it into the, now you want this into the corner snug. That's how we're gonna line it up so it's gonna be straight. So line it up so it's straight in here. Take an extra piece of paper, that's what I like to do, and press it down, and then press this tab in. Right, take it right back to where it was for the next piece. Do the same thing, glue the tab. That tab gets laid in right to that very edge of the last piece you put in and lined up along this bottom edge as long as everything is in snug. Check it, make sure it looks even. Then press it in. And the same for the last two pieces. have our waterfall so the waterfall is put together we will let me show you where that goes we are not gonna glue that in yet it goes open up your book you've got your two pockets open this page up and it will sit right in here you will probably notice it may be a little bit long at the bottom here. So we will trim a little bit of that off right now. Just so it's ready when we're ready to uh, glue it in. So I'm probably gonna just take off a sixteenth of an inch. Yeah, that's, that should do it. Let's just check it and see if it fits. You could take more off if you like. All right, it fits perfectly now. You can see that we have a little teeny bit at the bottom edge there. All right, we'll set that off to the side. And we're gonna do, I think we'll do a pocket back here. So let's take another piece of 110 pound card stock and let me show you how we do that. So for the pocket on this page, this Folio measures six by eight and a half on the big pages. So that's six inches, maybe a little shy, by eight and a half. Okay, so we don't need that measurement, but we do want to put it between these two score lines. So we're gonna cut, cut it to fit five and three quarters. With, that will give us a little wiggle room. So five and three quarters by, and I want my pocket three inches. So in order to make a pocket with flaps on the uh, sides and bottom, we need to add a half inch, or I'm sorry, one inch to this uh, measurement here because we're gonna have a half inch on each side. So six and three quarters by, we only need a half inch here, three and a half. So that's how I measure for a pocket. So we just add an inch to this measurement that you want here. I don't want six inches, I want five and three quarters because that will fit better here. So I add an inch to that. Okay, so let's go to the cutting machine and cut that piece at six and three quarters. by three inches, I'm sorry, three and a half. Six and three quarters by three and a half inches. Then we will go to the scoreboard.
And on three sides, we will score half inch. So we'll put the long side in and go, this measures six and three quarters, so a half inch would be a quarter, six and a quarter, then a half inch down at the left side, all the way down, turn it, and score it at three inches. And then we will cut the mite of the corners like so. Can you see that? Leaving the corner. And we will fold and crease those tabs down. If you wanted a bigger packet, you could, you know, cut it taller if that's, you know, something you wanted to do. I just like a three inch pocket. And then we'll bring back the folio on the last page on our right side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue in this tab here. I'm gonna glue this tab in at the bottom. So let's put some glue on just on that tab. And you could dry fit this before you put the glue on it, which I kind of didn't do. <laughs> All right, so let's put that at the bottom. Let's pinch these in just so that there we can even this up between the score lines. So you can wiggle it back and forth a little bit. A little more to the right, to the left. And that looks good. So press that in. And again, you don't have to put a pocket here. You could put another side pocket. You could, you know, just do a fun little angle uh, pocket with a torn edge. There's so many things you could do. You could do another waterfall back here if you wanted to. I mean, you know, options are, you know, up to you. This is just what I want in my folio. All right, so there it is. So what we're gonna do next, and this goes this way, is cut our pattern paper that's gonna go on here. And what we're using today is, it's a wonderful Christmas, pretty paper. So I will be back with a little music and some gluing.
All right, now that we've covered our folio, we are back to put in our pocket. Move our pocket on. Two tabs. And just line that up. Press it in. Take my little ruler in there on over the tab and just press so I can press it good all the way down. All right, that's in. Waterfall is next. Waterfall will go in on this page. Glue the whole back of that. Center it. Lift it all up there. Press it in. And the last thing besides decorating is our magnets. And I use the magnet stickers. I get these from Amazon. The link will be in the description. We open this up. We take a negative. Obviously a negative and a positive. Put those two together, silver sides. Take the backing paper off of one side. Now, if you wanted to put these in under your um, pattern paper, you could do that. I prefer to put it on last. Pop it in the middle, about a half inch in. And you can measure this too if you wanted to. Take that other backing paper off. And then I hold this up. Kind of try and square the ends, these ends, and leave myself a, you know, don't make it super snug, and then just press that in, and you're all set to go. And decorate. And I know this looks a little maybe drab right now, but it won't when it's finished. So what we're what I'll do off camera is I will corner round our inserts for our pockets. One thing I want to mention before, before I finish that is reach in and kind of maybe kind of push your knife, your scoring tool in there to open that up a little bit so that your card fits. You can play with it a little bit. Not too much. You don't want to open up that totally all the way. Like I just did. I did. I just open that up. There. I just press it back. It's fine. And it fits. So I'll corner around these, cover them with pattern paper, and decorate. And then I'll be back to show you um, how it looks. All right, we're back with the fun folio finished. And I just wanted to show you how I decorated it. I put some stickers on the front. I made a little tag here. I put a tab here so when you grab this so many times, you won't bend it. And the inside, the two pockets, a few stickers there, some pattern paper on the photo inserts. And the waterfall turned out beautiful. I put on some red card stock. I did a little stamping with a snowflake on the little pieces above the uh, photo area. Um, 
I also put some a little, I actually added this, uh, this pocket to this side. I just felt like it needed another pocket. <laughs> All right, and so this page, we'll turn this and then we have a blank page here for, for a photo. Then we have more cards uh, for photos. And this I left white because, you know, if you put a photo on here, it's going to take up a lot of that. Anyways, so a nice white border, Christmas, you know, snow and all that. <laughs> all right, so that's the fun folio. This folio, um, actually, I think I forgot to tell you that it measures eight and a half by six inches by about five eighths on this end and a half inch here. So it gives you plenty of room to, you know, put in a waterfall and, and photos and pockets and whatnot. Um, so I hope you enjoy this folio and come on back and uh, see what I, what else I have in store. Have a nice day.